Okay, so a quick run through the gain staging. The places where you're going to adjust gain are obviously what you're sending. So I would send something minus 20, minus 15 range for starters. And then the gain uh, on the, if you use the overstair, if you turn it on, if you want that harmonic content, the gain there, I don't really move that output too much. Um, but basically the, the, the input output balance that's flat uh, is a preset that will give you, but it's basically like 2.9 input and six output. So if you're gonna if you're gonna drive that input, you'd back down that output. You you want to kind of keep that one playing in that in that kind of unity range where the result of that is unity. If that one's out of the chain, because that is a, an option. If that one's out of the chain, then you've got gain here at the focus right. Um, probably aren't gonna need to go more than plus five or six ever. Um, and then you've got gain at the ferrament on the output side. I leave it pretty much all the time at plus 3.75. You're welcome to do less or more, but I would always have that on. So your gain really, if we skip the overstayer, if we think of that as being neutral gain wise, your gain is what you send. Your gain is here at the 315, um, could be like minus four up to plus six range. And then your gain is at the output of the focus right, which I would suggest, again, always pushing it. I do 3.75 all day long for mastering purposes. But the chain itself is meant to give you back more than what you put in. So I don't think you're gonna have a problem getting gain. This is what I use all day for mastering. So for stems and all that, it's it's going to be hot. It's going to be quickly hot, and that's okay. It sounds good. You want to do whatever you want to do with gain. I'm just telling you what I do. I don't use the gain on the alpha compressor. Um, I might I might do a little mid boosting with the side, you know, not if I'm doing like a, a mid side setting and I'm pushing the mid in a mastering context. You wouldn't need that for doing stems. You want to keep that in stereo. So I don't really use the alpha for pushing gain. Um, and I don't really use the input gain of the Fairman at all. So to keep this simple, the simplest gain chain is what I use every day, which is what comes out of the computer. Uh, you know, minus two and a half, minus four, up to plus six on the focus right. And then plus, you know, one up to four and a half or whatever you'd like to do on the Fairman. So to me, it's, 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 you know, ignoring the alpha for gain, ignoring the overstayer for gain, because that's, that's a place where it could clip the uh, focus right to just avoid that. Uh, the simplest way to look at it is what comes out of the file plus 315 plus the output of the Fairman.